Hey there, beautiful warriors over 50. Unlike other channels that breeze through breast cancer stages like they're reading a grocery list, today we're unpacking the whole shebang, the five stages explained just for us fabulous gals navigating this chapter of life. And get this, did you know that a whopping 80% of breast cancers strike women just like us after we've hit the big 5-0? That's right, we're not just surviving, we're the stars of this show, and knowledge is our superpower. Buckle up, because by the end of this, you'll feel armed, empowered, and maybe even ready to high-five your mirror self. <clears throat> Welcome to the Pulsive Health Channel, from hot flashes to health scares, and come out swinging. Turning 50 isn't just about gray hairs and grandkids, it's about owning your health like the boss you are. And breast cancer? Honey, it's the uninvited guest we all want to spot before it crashes the party. Today, we're breaking down the five stages— from that sneaky stage zero to the fighters stage four, with stats straight from the pros, survival smarts tailored to our age group, and practical tips you can steal for your routine. I've poured over the latest from the American Cancer Society and beyond, because I believe every woman deserves the full scoop, not the watered down version. Let's dive in, shall we? Grab your tea or your wine, no judgment, and let's get witty with this. All right, let's start at the very beginning, because as my grandma used to say, a stitch in time saves nine, or in this case, a scan in time saves a whole lot more. We're talking stage zero, the non-invasive ninja. Your breast cells are starting a tiny rebellion, but they're still contained, like that one drawer in your kitchen full of Tupperware lids that never quite escape. Medically, it's called ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, where abnormal cells are hanging out in the milk ducts but haven't broken out to invade the surrounding breast tissue. No lymph node drama, no distant travel plans, just tis for tumor, in situ, meaning in place, N0 for no nodes, and M0 for no mets. Whew. It's the earliest whisper of trouble. And here's the kicker. If caught here, your five-year survival rate? over 99%, practically a guarantee you're back to book club in no time. Now, for us women over 50, this stage is sneaky because our breasts change post-menopause. Denser tissue thins out, but so does our vigilance sometimes amid all the life juggling. In my experience coaching clients your age, many dismiss that subtle pull or change as just aging. But nope. I believe early detection here is like catching a pickpocket before they grab your purse, swift and satisfying. <laughs> Practical advice? Schedule that annual mammogram like it's your non-negotiable spa day. The American Cancer Society says starting at 40 and sticking with it drops your risk of advanced diagnosis by a ton. And hey, add a monthly self-exam. Stand in the shower, lather up, and circle those babies like you're mapping a treasure hunt. Feel for peas under the skin, not grapefruits. Stage zero lumps are tiny. Witty tip. Make it fun. Pair it with your favorite podcast episode on manifesting that dream cruise. You've earned it. Moving on to stage one, the small invader. Oh, this one's like that ambitious intern who just got promoted. Small, but starting to make moves. Here, the cancer has broken through the duct wall into nearby breast tissue, but it's still petite. Tumor size, T1 under two centimeters. Think the size of a large olive or smaller. No lymph node involvement, N0. No distant spread, M0. It's localized, folks, meaning it's contained to the breast like a well-behaved puppy. Stats to chew on. In 2025, about 316,950 women in the US will hear invasive breast cancer. And for us over 50, we're carrying the load. Rates have ticked up 1% yearly in our bracket. But the good news? Survival at this stage mirrors stage zero, over 99% five-year relative rate. In my experience, women over 50 who catch it here often sail through with lumpectomy plus radiation, minimal downtime, back to Zumba in weeks. Here's what I found works wonders. Don't skip those follow-up ultrasounds if your mammogram flags something funky. Our denser post-40 breasts can hide these little guys, but combining imaging, gold standard. Practical hack for your busy life, Book mammos during your lunch hour and treat yourself to a latte after. I believe empowering yourself with knowledge turns fear into fuel. Talk to your doc about genetic risks too, especially if Aunt Edna had a scare. Witty aside, if stage one were a date, 
it'd be that cute guy who shows up on time. Handle it quickly, and it's all smooth sailing. Now, let's crank it up to stage two, the regional rally. This is where things get a bit more social. The cancer's growing bolder. Divided into 2A and 2B, it's still no distant drama, M0, but the tumor's beefier. For 2A, T1, small, under two centimeters, with a few lymph nodes involved, N1, one to three axillary nodes, or T2, two to five centimeters, like a small lime, with no nodes. For 2B, it's T2 with nodes or T3, over five centimeters, fist-sized, sans nodes. It's regional spread, meaning it's chatting up the neighbors but hasn't left town. Eye-opening stat. More than half of breast cancer deaths hit women 70 and up, but early-ish catches like this keep us in the 86 to 93% sur- Buckle in, because stage three, the local heavyweight, is our toughest local bout yet. This bad boy means the cancer's throwing its weight around regionally but staying put. No Mets, M0. It's I, I, A, B, or C. Tumors up to T3. Big, over five centimeters, with heavy node action. N2, four to nine nodes, or N3, 10 plus. Or funky spots like supraclavicular, or T4, invading skin or chest wall, like inflammatory breast cancer. That red, swollen look that's rare but fierce, one to five percent of cases. Harsh but hopeful stat. Regional survival dips to 87% overall, but for us over 50, it's often higher, around 85 to 91% in the 50 to 69 bracket, thanks to robust treatments. In 2025, with 42,250 losses projected, mostly ours to bear, but stage three fighters? Multimodal magic. Neoadjuvant chemo shrinks it, then mastectomy or lumpectomy, radiation, and hormone blockers if ER positive, Super common post 50. This stage tests our grit, but oh, the triumphs. Here's what I found. Support groups for mature women are gold. Sharing war stories over Zoom wine nights builds unbreakable bonds. Practical tip. Prioritize bone health with weight-bearing walks. Treatments can thin those bones. But calcium-rich kale smoothies? Your new BFF, Huckles. And don't sleep on clinical trials. Over 50 enrollments rising, unlocking cutting-edge options. Witty twist. Stage three is like a bad ex. Messy, invasive, but once you evict it, you're free and fabulous. Finally, stage four, the metastatic marathon. Deep breath, this is the long haul runner where cancer's globe trotting. Any tumor size, any nodes, but M1, spread to bones, liver, lungs, brain. It's about 6% of diagnoses at the outset, but it can recur from earlier stages. Not a death sentence, mind you, it's chronic management now, stat that hits home. 32% five-year survival, but for women over 50, it's edging up with new immunotherapies, hitting 84.5% overall in the 70 to 79 group when managed well. In the US, one in eight of us faces this lifetime risk, but targeted drugs like CDK4-6 and Whew, we've covered the terrain, from ninja whispers to marathon miles. Remember, 91% overall survival means most of us thrive, especially with our wisdom. Key takeaway? Knowledge plus action equals armor. So, my fierce friends, what's your move? Hit that like button if this lit a fire. Subscribe for more midlife health hacks. No fluff, all heart. Drop a comment. What's one self-care step you're taking today? Schedule that mammogram. And if you're hungry for more, Cue up these must-watch next. Five signs of breast cancer you shouldn't ignore after 50 to spot those red flags early. And five things women over 40 should know about breast cancer right now for the fresh intel that's changing the game. Share this with your sister circle. We're stronger together. You've got this. Over 50 and unstoppable. See you next time. Stay vibrant.